a new challenge. For the next few months, I'll be building one of these. This is K2SO from Rogue One. I'm making a life-size version and it'll be a few months in the making. I'm Thomas Nixon and this is Reality Robots. And here we are, a few months later. No, actually, I built this actually over the past few months before I began recording, my first recording. But this is it, my K2SO so far. As you can see, it's pretty big. Um, it's all 3D printed on my CR10S5 printer using PLA. And the printing hours so far are up to around maybe, I guess 500 hours probably in printing time, I suppose. I have been asked lots of questions about how I put this thing together so far, this far anyway. And well, let me show you a few parts that actually are attached and how they are attached. The shoulder hub itself is attached with magnets on the inside, fully 3D printed of course. I've loosened the screws which is pulled right off. And this is how they look, the pistons themselves, they're attached like this. Um, it's simple. It's simple, it's a simple creation, but I mean it works very well. These I bought, actually I found in Ikea, you can buy for a very reasonable price. And they work perfectly as cylinders, just wait for now. It just slides right off. Inside here, I have a special servo. This is the average servo you use in an RC car, boat, plane, you name it. It's the standard size that everyone uses for everything. I need something a bit stronger for K2, so I decided to buy this one. This servo is rated at about 300 kilos, pulling force. It has its own separate power source as well, and it so far works very, very well, I think. Um, you can find them on all the online services like eBay, Wish, or AliExpress, and the price is roughly around $70 each. Um, it's worked so far, and I cannot really complain. Another question I've been asked about what I'm using for my K2 is the 3D printer filament I'm using. Well, there are all different kinds out there you can get your hands on. Um, the best I can say for you, the choice you try to pick in the end, is one that suits you best. I use these three different brands for different reasons, but I mean, still, if you know what you're doing, use that printing filament that's best for you. My settings are 210 degrees. The bed itself is at 32 degrees only. People have higher, I have lower. In all the printers that I do use, it's the exact same temperature settings on the bed, as well as actually the extruder as well. And that's about it for now. I'll be sharing more of my tips and tricks along the way as I'm building my K2, but it's a work in progress, which means that parts may change. I can't guarantee it'll be the same part I'm using today. It'll be the same part I'm using at the end of my finished product. When I finally am done, I will definitely share all my files. I can't guarantee that they'll be the best files you ever had, but in this case, what's mine is yours. So until next time, happy printing and happy building.